Hello and welcome back to another holy horror movie review. Today I come with Saw. Now I, I let's make it no, you know, it is more of a thriller but it has like its horror aspects in it, you know, torture and all of this, but this is probably one of my thriller slash horror franchises. Like it's definitely up there with my Halloween movies. I just love this movie. Like I first saw it when there was only three of these movies. Um, so I, I bought them for my friend, and me and my mum were like really into these. It was pretty funny actually. Um, but yeah, I got into these. I watched the first one. I just thought the ending was brilliant. Ended up watching number two, and then three, and then. My mum like bought each movie as they came out pretty much and I've started collecting them over the years myself. Hopefully gonna get more on Blue eventually. I've got the first on Blue, which is a start. And the thing my two and three are DVDs, but I will get something to get to it. I still need a new jigsaw, so I can't wait to actually review that when I actually purchase that below. There's like seven other movies before that, so <laughs> hey, um what can I say about this? Oh, I just love this movie. Um, definitely one of my favourite ones in the whole of the series because it's very unexpected. You got Carrie Elwes in this. You got Monica Porter, Danny Glover. You sort of dope, you know, good well-known actors and actresses. Um, you also got Lee Whannell. He also written, directed it, I believe. I think he did for most of them. Right. I just thought when I first watched this, like. The situation of how it goes, like, you know, waking up in a bar from a stranger, you're chained to a pipe, it's just, I love the idea of that, it's like, you think about the situation, it's really scary, and, you know, all this sort of plot's come into play where they knew each other, and you find out what's happening, um, you know, the doctor's kids are held hostage by Zep, who you find out later, by the way, spoilers, if you haven't watched this, um, if you have, then please enjoy the review. But if you haven't, then don't watch anymore. <laughs> okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you're warned. So they wake up in the bathroom. You know, they, they scream for help, no one can hear them. They see a dead guy on the floor, you know, so they're trying to work out how to get to it. They find clues and tapes. And the tape says they know each other, you know, plotting against them. So I create this whole game. He finds out he's taking pictures and he's saying, are you the cause of this? And you find out a bit of a backstory. What happened, how they got there. Like you see the doctor get captured by the pig man. It's just, oh, it's such a, it's, kind of, it's, got, it's, like, it's almost like a crime film, I'm gonna say almost. But again, it has its horror aspects in it. So I guess what they call it a chiller. So you could call this movie a chiller, I guess, but the rest, like, for your, like, fire out gore, gore fest. Um, first one's not so gory. Is a uh, rated 18 here. But, uh, yeah, it's just, oh. And as the plot unfolds, like, like I, the first time I saw the end, of, I was totally thrown off. I did not expect the guy on the floor to wake up. To me, that was probably, like, the biggest surprise of them all. I mean, wow, <laughs> I was not expecting that. And then, ah, oh, it's just, and then a bit of the doctor when he's like, he's come to the point where, you know, he's here with his family, he wants to do something, and he ends up like cutting his own foot off. And I remember I heard a lot of people were like pretty squeamish at that part, but I thought it was brilliant. And it's just, you know, he's cut through his legs, he's like, it's just, he's going all pale faced and white and, like, and like after him and Adam have like had this whole argument, Dr. Gordon's like, don't worry, I send help, and you know, and he's like screaming, no, don't leave me, and you know, after Adam's like bashed Zepp's face in with the toilet uh, slab thing, I was like, that's brilliant. It's, ah, oh, and then, then you got Jigsaw waking up, well you don't know it's Jigsaw really at this point, but it's like waking up on the floor, wakes up and he's like he, that's how he's zapping the whole time you find out in I think number three that 
he was actually he had a drug to make him lie there still that like, shut down his heart functions and we'll get to sore through when we get to that and you know as he called that he was just like so he must have been there just like just not not conscious but could hear like and that was so cool the way he just sort of walks out and you hear him like screaming no no and then he tells him the key to his chambers in the bathtub and that that would really put a span on your day i think for any kind of situation like that you're just kind of like fuck <laughs> and it's just wow like i did not expect the ending the first time like it's just it was, to me at the time it was definitely like a standalone i mean there was obviously some like whole and nasties way back in the time but this was just for me i think that's why I started getting to more and more movies like this. Is oh, and trust me, I was so glad when they like made a new one. Technically, a saw film, which is called Jigsaw. Ah, oh, but like it was really good the way the story played out. It, like it was drawn into it, like with the police trying to find out where people are, like suspecting the doctors for this, and you know, like you seen these traps and oh, it's just great bit of storytelling and I think all the actors and actors did a really good job in this movie it's like I was really intense watching this I was just like like wanting stuff to happen and oh definitely like I would say this is really a good movie like definitely like as they got to get a further along you will notice like like the gore factor will be slightly more amped up each time but uh, some people mind about that some people didn't you know i didn't really mind it like i thought generally the story's all good there is some weaker ones in the series i don't like like any kind of franchise there's always gonna be some i don't like but i don't hate any of them there's ones that i will prefer but others um to me like five is probably one of my weaker ones in the franchise for me you know, that's what it is. Um, like, if you're into, like, if you're with some mates, I definitely recommend putting that on. If you've never seen it, like, you're having a drink, you know, settle down, get some popcorn, some food, just sort of watch it. And if you're with some lady friends, just, you know, they can hug you, if they get scared, they can sort of work out well for you. But definitely, if you're a fan of Saw myself, like myself, just go get some people to watch it with you, get them into it. It's, good series um what would I rate this movie definitely a 10 out of 10 because it's definitely my kind of thing um I'm all into my gore fests and stuff like that like, it's not supernatural it's like psychological horrors gore fest slashes chillers thrillers I'm just going to find things and I throw some like horror aspect but we'll call Saw a chiller we'll, we'll definitely call the first one a chiller because it's definitely more up that kind of style I think definitely think it's more of a chiller but yes um, thank you for watching my video um, I really hope to just keep getting yeah, likes and keep enjoying these videos next time will be my redo of my Halloween 3 season review because you know, I'll have one more redo and then it's all good and I'm going to start doing my other reviews soon. Um, so that's going to go. I'm going to put up my first anime review, I believe, soon. So, um, yeah, you guys take care and thank you for watching.